Hey guys, I am redoing this wonderful coloring of Oz book by Ben McDaniel because he sent me a message saying that I was slandering him because I used the word clip art. And he was going to send me a cease and desist letter if I didn't take it down. So I'll take that one down and I'm going to put this one in its place. Okay, here we go. This book, in my opinion, has what looks to me awfully like clip art. It just reminds me of some clip art that I have seen. I'm not saying at all it's clip art, but let's look at it. Okay, here is the uh, nameplate page. I gotta flip back and forth because they go both directions. Okay, this is the first page of the book. This page should grab you, it should rock your world. You would just wanna go in here and make you wanna color and just go nuts, right? This page is boring. There's, it's a farm. There's no animals. The sky is boring. There's not hardly anything to color here. There's no people. There's no trees. There's nothing. Not even a cat on the fence or a rooster. Okay? So, in my opinion, we'll keep going. Here, we got um, Dorothy and Toto. And... Um, like she's sitting down on the bench with the farm and again all of this is just you know blank space there's you know there's nothing to color here um um i don't understand why we don't have any trees in the background or flowers or whatever okay and um what i don't like about parts of this book in my opinion is that um, some of the lines are really thickly drawn. You can tell, you know, this is hand drawn. So you go from a hand drawn item, which you can clearly see this is hand drawn, this part and the Dorothy part. Um, the rest of it, in my opinion, not sure. Reminds me of some clip art I've seen before. There's nothing in the sky. There's not a lot to color. You would think that the sky would be dark and stuff would be flying, but you know. And here we go. We got another tornado. And this little flower right here, the sunflowers, it doesn't fit um, with this little hand drawn piece and all of these pieces and the bed. These lines are really, really thin and faint, and then these are dark. It's just like a mismatch of hand-drawn and maybe some uh, digital-drawn or, in my opinion, things that look like clip art. And you can tell these you know, hand-drawn lines with the little tornado going around. And here's another one, like what I mean about... Um, you know, the hand-drawn house, and they're like, these flowers are perfectly, perfectly done. Perfect. Look at them flowers. And then we have this hand-drawn over here. So it doesn't make sense to me that um, the this could be hand-drawn by the same person that hand-drew this. That's why I say sometimes it reminds me of clip art, in my opinion. But, I don't know. I'm not an expert. I'm just saying it's my opinion. Okay? we got Dorothy's feet in color here, her shoes. And I guess the yellow brick road. And then we have um, the munchkins. Very cute. The Good Witch, we've got Dorothy here, we got the Yellow Brick Road. There's a lot to color on this page. This is a great page. Love it. This page, on the other hand, um, in my opinion, is very boring because it's 
just trees and the brick road. There's the characters aren't on it, you know, maybe some little animals or some birds. There's it's not a lot to color. I would not, in my opinion, want to color this book, um, this page because it's just boring. And the little flowers right here are completely different in the lines, the way all the other lines are drawn. They look very different to me. And then here we go with the scarecrow. She meets the scarecrow. And um, uh, you would think that this corn right here would keep going. Or in the background, we would have some trees or some crows or something. I don't know. Something to fill in the space. Because I'm, my opinion, I would not sit here and color all of these little pieces of corn, which look like, um, to me, they look like, they remind me of clip art. I've seen some items like this that look like clip art, but in my opinion, I'm not sure. Corn is drawn perfectly straight. Okay, straight, beautiful lines. And then we got this Dorothy, and we got this Scarecrow. The lines don't match. Um, just kind of odd looking to me, in my opinion. I'm not sure. I'm not know. This reminds me. And here we go again. We got Scarecrow thinking about something. This page, um, he's chopping down this tree. Um, looks like oil is backwards and upside down on this can right here. I'm not sure why. Um, you know, nothing back here to color. Not very, I don't know. I don't think I would color this page. This page is a little, a little creepy to me. Just because the um, scarecrow is thinking about his life when he, you know, before he became a scarecrow, when he got married here. And then he was chopping down this tree. And then there's a witch up here. He must have put a spell on him or something. Because then his leg is chopped off. And then he cut, or his head was chopped off. Very gruesome. Not for children, in my opinion. Okay. We got the lion over here. All righty. Um, <clears throat> we got the lion. I'm thinking this must be part of the scarecrow, maybe. But I see the scarecrow's down here a little. Just looks like he's unstuffed. At least this whole page is filled in. That's great. And this page is all the way filled in. We got the little characters going. Um, the, the lion is thinking about his life with this elephant. Wonderful. And um, this page is a little confusing just because it's just trees. And we got a little deer. And then we got this perfectly drawn fire. And this, look at this picnic table. Look how perfect that is. The lines are exact. Um, it kind of reminds me of some clip art that I've seen before. But, you know, it can't be because it's hand drawn. So, you know, and this, this fire, it's great fire. Um, all of these lines right here, I've seen, um, you know, in my opinion, they remind me of you know, things that look like could be clip art, but they're not, of course. Um, I don't understand why they don't have any of the characters on here, you know, sitting down, watching the fire, enjoying their picnic, you know, here's the yellow brick road, but at least the page is full. Okay, this page is confusing if you haven't read the book, which I did in high school been a long time I don't remember all of it looks like the yellow brick road caved in somehow and then we got all these shards down here where they could really hurt themselves so yeah and then the scarecrow cuts down this log here and he puts it across so he saves his little friends great all right and then here we go um, this log is in the weirdest position right here. Um, but to me, 
in my opinion, I first thought that the bodies looked um, of these bears. I think they're bears. In my opinion, I'm not sure. They look like bear bodies and tiger faces. Don't they look like tiger faces in your opinion? Because that's what they look like in my opinion. They almost look like um, they could possibly be, they remind me of some clip art that I've seen before, but I know they're not. So I know they're not clip art. So, um, but it's just strange how it looks like that. All right. And here we go. At first, when I saw this page, I thought, why are they um, planting this fence? It's like a fence, don't it? And then I realized, oh, that's not a fence. That's water. They built a log raft, and they're going down the river. Okay. Um, and Dorothy's just chilling, and everybody else is doing the work. The sky here is blank. These lines are really thick, drawn in, and uh, this is just real thin. Um, not positive, but in my opinion, you know. All right, they're down the river again with this little this little guy here. Scarecrow's down here. They left him. Um, they're all pointing at the scarecrow. I don't know why. They're like, hey, look, it's the scarecrow. They left him. Terrible, terrible friends. But at least this whole page is filled in, which is great, in my opinion. All right, here we go. We're at the poppy field now. Everybody looks like they're sleeping. They're about to go to bed. She's a completely asleep, Dorothy. And then we have these um these poppies it's the same poppies over and over and over and over and over again these are the drawn lines that are all thick and you know they look hand drawn to me in my opinion the poppies look like they were you know they could have been um added in almost like um they kind of remind me of clip art in a way but i know that's not possible so let's keep going because this is a perfectly hand drawn book all right, here we go again with that same stalks of corn. There we go with the poppies. Um, I have no reason to understand why this mouse has a crown on it, but I'm sure it's cool. I don't know much about this page. It's full, so that's awesome. This you could color this whole page. Really nice. Tells a story, in my opinion. All right. Here we go with this same corn. The lion is being carried away by the same exact mouse over and over and over and over again. Hmm. I don't know why. You couldn't switch that up a little bit. It's the same mouse though. It's drawn really cute. All right, and here we go. We got these random houses. I'll one going by the yellow brick road. Um, they're all perfectly hand on. Really, really nice. I love it. Got some um, splatters over here. I'm not sure what that's about. Okay, just a regular page. You could really get into it. Color this up. And then we have this perfectly straight, gorgeous, lovely lined kitchen table. Um, <clears throat> there's no way at all that any of this, like these vines and all that, this is no way um, that this is clip art. No way, because this is all hand drawn right here, in my opinion. And there's a piano in the kitchen, which is really weird, but you know, some people like that. I don't know. I don't know why the characters aren't sitting there eating. But, you know, I didn't draw it. It's not mine. Okay, and then here we go with the Emerald City. Little teeny tiny Emerald City. City. Can't talk today. Sorry. Um, not much to color. Nothing to color here. Just blankness. Really, it's just the Emerald City and 
the yellow brick road. I don't know why the, there's no characters, there's no trees. I'm not sure, but it's a beautiful page. It's hand drawn too. All right, and um, here we go with another hand drawn picture. It's very, very beautiful in the um, Emerald City. This page <clears throat> um, is also really pretty. Um, see the hand drawn diamonds that are perfectly drawn? Do you see those? And then we got this this little chair. There's nothing else in the room, which is awesome. Excuse me. And um, let's see what else. Oh, there's no there's no characters in this room. Why would there be? Uh, beautifully hand drawn picture. Love it. Now this one is great. This is the best page in the book in my opinion because the whole thing looks like it's been hand drawn with love and care. I love the little glasses that they're wearing and I mean look at Toto. He is. He is amazing. Look at him. Cute little glasses. So cute. Okay. I'm not sure what this is. It looks like a mall inside the Emerald City because they got all their little clothes, they got their little, um, these perfectly little poppies again, beautiful, they kind of remind me of some clip art I've seen before, but I know that they're not because this book is hand drawn all the way through. Here we go, we got some little, um, elevator guys, whatever they're called, got this really awesome couch. All of this perfectly drawn, and then um, I don't know why, but it's really cool the way um the um artist used this picture like five times in a row. It's cool. See, he's got the stone, and then you change it, and then we got a mad face. This picture almost reminds me of Thomas the Train. I know it's not. I'm just saying it reminds me in my opinion. Okay. Same picture again. But now we got this queen-like lady. She looks pretty mad. And then look. We got another one. A three. No. Five-eyed rhino. Same page. Great. And we got some fire on the same page. What is that? Five? No, 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 that's it. Um, in my opinion, I would not color these. There's nothing to them. The only thing that has changed are the pieces in the middle. Um, I would like to know your opinion. Would you color these five pages over and over and over again? Is that something that appeals to you? Let me know down in the comments. Okay. And then we have this compass, um, just kind of random, very beautiful, lovely, hand-drawn, see that, with these lovely, um, um, what do they call poppies that are all throughout the book. They are beautifully hand-drawn, in my opinion. They don't look like clip art at all. Very pretty. Uh, here we go with a beautiful picture. They are definitely taking a nap because they're so tired. Um, we got some wolves over here. We got the army over here. Some seagulls, little castle. Nothing in the sky. There's no clouds. There's no sun. There's no anything else. They're knocked out. I don't know what that is. It's random, but it's drawn very, very well. Um, let me see. Oh, this looks like hornets. Perfectly, perfectly drawn. Love it. Look at this witch. Oh my goodness. You can definitely tell that she's hand drawn for sure. Yep. Completely for sure. Yep. You can tell these monkeys are great right here. Love them. Look at these musical notes. Those are definitely, definitely hand drawn. This whole page you can tell is hand drawn. I mean, look at the faces and all. They're just amazing. Love it. They're in the sky. 
but you can't tell. You, I can't tell in my opinion that you know they're flying or whatever. This page, yeah. Okay, this page we got Dorothy. She's throwing the water on the witch, and the witch is melting. And we got this big old witch's broom, which at first, to be honest, I thought it was a giant paintbrush. I ain't gonna lie. But then I realized, no, it is a witch's broom. Very cool. Um, you can definitely tell how hand-drawn and very cool um, Dorothy is right here. You know, her chin is gorgeous. I love the way the artist did her hair. And all of this perfectly colored, um, I'm sorry, perfectly drawn in pattern on her um, lovely clothes right here. Definitely beautiful. Okay, here we go with another page that is kind of blank. Um, there's no characters on it. I'm not sure why. The Tin Man is in parts over here. Somebody looks like they're cooking some marshmallows in this one. Um, lovely, lovely, beautiful hand-drawn. Love it. And here we go with um, this castle. Um, you can definitely tell that it was 100% hand-drawn. Look at the texture on the bricks. Definitely hand-drawn. I love that. Okay. Oh, on this page, I'm not sure what's up, but Dorothy looks really, really mad. Mad with this mouse over here. We got this corn. We got these same old poppies over here. Um, not sure why she's mad, but at least we got most of the page filled in and we could color it. It's great, in my opinion. <clears throat> I absolutely think it's 100% original. Okay, let me see. Um, they're walking up to this, the uh, to Oz, the door. Um, let me see if I can help fix this a little bit so y'all can see it. It's kind of like in a Z formation, but you can't really tell that much. There we go. See, now you can see that it's Oz. Great. I love it. Okay, here we go. I absolutely love this page. When I first saw it for a second, though, I thought this was a bag of french fries. I was hungry. So at this point, I was like, oh, my God, look at these french fries. But it's not. They're not spilled fries. This is the scarecrow's hand. And we got this badass feather right here. Look at the end of this feather. Way go. <clears throat> And here we are. We are back in this room with um, the same room that had the jewel that, you know, you saw back where it was like five times in a row. Well, this is just a different angle of that room, which is awesome. Um, here we go. We got uh, you boy eyes behind the scenes here. We got these. Look how hand-drawn they are. They're beautiful. Look at that. It's amazing. I wish that this page would have had some more, um, maybe some artwork on here, or maybe some more hand-drawn pattern, something really pretty up here. But in my opinion, you know, I would have might say I can't draw. Um, this page, you can 100% tell that it was hand-drawn with love and care. I mean, it is gorgeous. Look at it. See his little hand? They're so cute. I think they look like french fries, in my opinion. They remind me of them. Maybe I'm just hungry still. I'm not sure where Dorothy is in this picture, though. Mm -hmm. All right, here we go with Dorothy. Um, I really do like the angle, the way the balloons are going, and how 
she's looking. I'm not sure what's up with her hair in this picture. It's really short right here. Kind of weird. I'm not sure, but I don't know. I'm not an artist. It's just my opinion. Okay, here we go with another um, compass. Really nice. We got that same hand-drawn texture that was on Dorothy's um, clothing that we just recently seen. Um, really, really nice. Absolutely love it. And then we're in this forest, looks like, with these nasty, mean little, don't they look mean, these little trees? I'm not sure why they're so angry. But they're up against this wall, and it looks like they're guarding something. They're guarding this wall of thorns. I don't see any flowers. They're just thorns. Got this ladder. I'm not sure about this. I don't know why there's nothing back here that's showing stuff in the background. But in my opinion, I just think this page is, um, um, I wouldn't color this page only because there's nothing much to color. Um, in my opinion, I would not color every little teeny tiny vine and just for nothing. There should be a character maybe climbing up the ladder or something that would be cool. Um, something on the wall, maybe a squirrel. I don't know. That's just my opinion. Okay. And here we go. This is the wall again with the ladder. And this must be the other wall. I'm assuming that this is Dorothy's house because we got Toto over here. I'm not sure how he got over the wall. But he is drawn perfectly. Look at him. He's so cute. All right. What's next? Mm, okay. Here we go. Um, this, um, this picture is completely 100% in my opinion um, hand drawn because you know the same person that can draw this definitely drew these perfectly drawn giraffe and this elephant look at these vines what a wonderful job the whole page is full of all these gorgeous drawings I love it Oh, look at this spider. Creepy. Oh, what help if I did that, huh? Sorry, guys. Um, I hate spiders, so I'm just going to skip this page. Don't like spiders. Let's keep going. Okay. And now we have the scarecrow. Kind of looks like he's on an asteroid or something. And then we got this random guy over here. I don't know if you can see him right there. He kind of, um, in my opinion, he looks like uh, Tweedledee Tweedledum, maybe. He <laughs> looks like one of them guys, but look angry. He just has, like, their same outfit, kind of really poly. Um, and then this character shoots something out of its face. Looks kind of like the spider's claw into the scarecrow while this asteroid is exploding. Yep. 100% beautifully hand-drawn picture. Here we go. We got some really nice line art here. And we got some more line art with these gorgeous, um, crystals. They're kind of in the shape of a bug. Looks like a bug to me. Maybe like a beetle. I'm not sure. <clears throat> oh, and here is Dorothy. She is definitely 100% hand-drawn. I love it. I mean, you can completely tell. Look at the face. Look at Toto's face. He is 100% drawn. Such a great, great hand-drawn book. Okay. And then we got this line art cabin. 
you know, perfectly lined up. It's really nice. And then we've got these little hand-drawn feet. I'm assuming those are Dorothy's feet. I don't know for sure because it doesn't say, it doesn't tell a story that much. And here are some, um, this is the picture from the cover. So that is great. And then here we've got the map of Emerald City, and we got the desert over here, the Munchkin Country, um, the whole entire map is done here, great, and that's it, that's the end of the story, here's what the back of this wonderfully hand-drawn book looks like, it's inspired by L. Frank Baum classic, and let's see, this is what the cover looks like. It is 64 whimsical designs that are all hand-drawn in this book. In my opinion, it's no clip art is in this book whatsoever. None. Zero. Okay. So, yeah, go check it out if you want a, um, a lovely hand-drawn book. It's great. Um, if you have any questions or comments, Please leave them down at the bottom, and if you have not hit that subscribe button, I would really appreciate it. And then right next to it is a little bell. Click on that, and you'll get a notification every time I upload a video. Um, thanks a lot for watching, guys. Uh, I really appreciate you. And um, full disclosure, I did do a video already for this book. And I received a notice from the um, artist who was so kind in telling me that um, even though I had already told him that I didn't think I should do a review on this book because it wasn't, you know, my favorite, uh, he said no, he would love to see this video. So I went ahead, good, bad, and the ugly, and I posted it. So after I posted the video, <clears throat> um, I don't know. Some people were upset, in my opinion. And I got a text today by this artist, Ben McDaniel from Whoop De Doo. And it says, after further review of your video, I have found that what you state to be slanderous in particular, that my art is clip art. I request that you take the video down on your own so a cease and desist letter does not need to be utilized. Thank you in advance. He is so kind. Thank you, Ben, for giving me that warning. I really appreciate you. It is so wonderful to have these artists like you out there. I'm so glad. This is why I give my opinions. This is why I do it. Even though you know, sometimes they have books that aren't, you know, in my opinion, the best books that I have ever seen. But that happens, you know. That's why we give reviews. So people can see what the insides of books look like. And sometimes they're awesome and I just go crazy and I love them. But sometimes, in my opinion, they are not up to, you know, snow. In my opinion. I'm not saying that that's this book because this book is awesome. So, in my opinion, I would really appreciate it if you would go and check out this book. I'll have a link down to the bottom where you can purchase it. It's probably not. And um, if you have any questions, like I said, just leave them down at the bottom. So, all right. Thank you, and thanks for watching. I really appreciate you guys. Bye-bye.